Hey folks, uh, surprisingly I actually got a M4 Pro from work, so I decided to at least do a video encoding comparison or video editing comparison. Don't think I'm going to be doing game testing because uh, they probably monitor the system. But I did want to showcase uh, kind of what I did before with the uh, DaVinci Resolve magnetic mask and also the Final Cut, which is at later in this video. So simply setting up the strokes so that you get the magnetic mask or auto tracker, uh, which is useful as if you're an editor, or this could also just showcase some of the computing powers of the M4 Pro, which is on the left, the 16 inch versus the 14 inch M1 Max. The M4 Pro has 48 gigabytes RAM and the M1 Max has 64 gigabytes RAM, I'm pretty sure. Could have more. Um, but anyways, showcasing, if you're familiar with Resolve, there is this feature that does a tracking object tracker, and then it goes forward and backwards. Um, so clicking these both at the same time, so using both my hands, um, we can see actually that the faster CPU speeds of the M4 Pro actually get you faster frames per second at 16 frames per second on the left versus 10 frames per second on the right. Um, and then also there's faster multi-core on the M4 Pro as well. And there is also a difference in apples to apples that it's a 14 inch versus a 16 inch. So there is some thermal throttling um, on sustained loads, but this pretty much was kind of an isolated test. It wasn't running long. So that's something also to consider because um, I've seen a lot of people or people considering coming from an M1 Max to an M4 Pro. So I typically have video games on my channel, but I do sometimes show stuff like this. So if anyone has any suggestions of what else to test, um, I'll consider it. As again, this is a work laptop, so I don't really want to do too much on it. Um, but essentially, we have uh, showcasing here that the M4 Pro on the left finishes as expected, or maybe not expected, depending on what people consider. Um, so really, the M1 Max um, is going to be faster because it has two encode engines, but I later show the export times and it's kind of negligible. So surprisingly, with both of these running DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is supposed to uh, take full utilization of the GPU, we can see here now we're able to, you know, if this was a real workflow, you would be editing, doing something with the mask. Whereas with the M1 Max, you're still waiting for it to finish doing the tracking. Uh, so perhaps something to consider in people's workflows if you do this kind of editing with Magic Mask or something like that. Um, to consider getting the M4 Pro. And then we can see here, now the M1 Max finished and you're able to continue your edits and stuff of that nature. So actually on the Windows machine, which is RTX 4080, it actually took, started at 1134, finished at 1145, about 20 minutes to get the neural engine running and then setting up the same type of test, running the Magic Mask on DaVinci Resolve Studio, uh, making these strokes, um, yeah, I'm not sure why the Mac version doesn't have to update neural engines. Maybe it's not supported. I'm not exactly sure. But with that being said, um, we can see here that the RTX, as I've, if you've been on my channel and I've done this test before, uh, gets really fast frames, 30 frames per second, where the M4 Pro is 16 frames per second, even now jumping up to 40 frames per second. So really the Windows and the NVIDIA machine is winning out here. Um, but of course... Uh, there is some fan noise and it does take more battery or power usage. So of course, you know, as I tested before, it, when the Windows machine is off power, it runs slower. So that is also something you can sit between machines. And now here, overlaying the Windows um, on top of the previous test, you kind of already see here just how fast the Windows machine is almost complete compared to what was previously shown with the M4 Pro at 16 frames per second and the M1 Max at 10 frames per second. So going now to the export test between the M4 Pro and the M1 Max, the M1 Max has two encoding engines, so theoretically should be faster. It ends up that it is faster. Going through these settings, there's nothing to change um, where in Windows there is, but basically when I hit save, we can see here that once we start the renders, that they're pretty much neck to neck. I mean, this is like a 17 second video with nothing really added on to it. Um, one thing to consider is that I think with DaVinci Resolve, 
during the export, it does the graphics calculation. So if you do do like stuff like adding noise defilter or stuff like that, I'm pretty sure it does it during export unless they have a cache. Don't quote me on that. Um, but that's what I've seen on Windows of like, that's why it takes long. So now setting up the test to kind of extrapolate what could be, um, you know, more generic tests. Um, we'll duplicate the video three times and then re-export this video. And now that we do that, we can see that the Windows, or sorry, the M4 Pro versus the M1 Max, you do start seeing the M1 Max slightly pulling ahead um, because of the increased encode. So depending on how long your videos are, you can expect at least the M1 Max to encode faster. Um, this one completing in 11 seconds, where the other one completing in 14. And of course, you know, as you extrapolate this longer into longer videos, it does save some time on export. Um, comparing to the Windows, actually, surprisingly, it had to do the magic mask again, which was, I was surprised it had to do that because the Mac didn't, so I'm not exactly sure why. But like I mentioned before, I think during the export, it does kind of redo some of the uh, encodes or uh, processing that it'll have to do later. So with that said, I think that comparing the M4 Pro to M1 Max, um, you know, at least with exports, it's not really... I kind of just walk away or do something else. Um, and if you did want to save the most time or have the most graphical performance with DaVinci Resolve, I think you would be better off with a RTX laptop. And of course the new ones are coming out. The 5070 Ti looks like the best bang for your buck, um, but just something to consider. And basically after it ran that second magic mask, it starts exporting. And we can see here that this has the fastest Xcode time compared to even the M1 Max, the RTX still pulls out ahead. Um, at being able to encode the fastest at around eight seconds for that timeline of still three um, at the same time. Now we'll do a final cut test, which is essentially kind of the same type of test here. You don't really do a stroke, you click and then it makes it red. Um, so I tried to set up as best I could um, on the M4 Pro on the left. And of course there is no final cut, so there won't be a Windows a comparison here, but doing it now on the M1 Max, clicking through, they appear to kind of detect the same picture at the same time. Um, I could be off by a frame here. I probably should have been very rigorous with this test. I tried to be approximate as I could. They look like the same mask. Uh, but here we can see that this probably is a CPU oriented task. Um, not exactly sure. Um, I don't know if they have any documents you could read on Final Cut but it does perform, I think, better than DaVinci Resolve, at least during this workflow, which is, um, you know, getting a mask out, maybe so you could remove backgrounds or do something um, if that's part of your workflow. But with that being said, um, the M4 Pro is being faster as compared to also what it did in DaVinci Resolve. But not only that, Final Cut is a little bit faster than the DaVinci Resolve Magic Mask, same workflow. And the, you can see here that's almost done running on the M4 Pro while the M1 Max is still lagging behind. Then doing an export test running a three copy, um, just like it was in DaVinci Resolve. I was expecting actually to see uh, M1 Max finish first, but surprisingly here, the M4 Pro finished first, um, though there was no notification on the control panel. So I was expecting that, but you could see from the background task, it did finish on the left and then the M1 Max finishes not too far behind, but it does <laughs> give that notification. So I'm not sure why that appeared. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I was actually considering M4 Pro myself. Maybe I'll just get the M M4 MacBook Air when it comes out, um, next week. Cause I do like the lightness and we'll see what I do with this M1 Max. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Of course, leave some comments if you have questions or things you want me to test out. Take care. Bye.